Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Dev Channel Insiders have finally received a new build for this week, build 23506, which rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 19th of July. And it's been a week or so since we last received a Dev Channel build, so obviously because of that, there is plenty going on in build 23506 for this week. So because of that, I'm just going to jump straight in. Now, the first is that we now have unsafe password copy and paste warnings where Microsoft say they are trying out this change um, in this build where um, users who have enabled warning options for Windows security under app and browser control, reputation-based protection, phishing protection will see a UI warning on unsafe password copy and paste just as they currently see when they type in their password. So unsafe password copy and paste warnings now being tested in this latest dev channel build. Now moving on to the next, and this is to do with local file sharing improvements. Now there are a couple that have been listed uh, by Microsoft, about six or seven, so I'm just gonna rattle these off as quickly as possible. Um, local file sharing improvements include better Windows 11 design principles matching to match the look and feel of Windows 11. Email files now through Outlook directly through the Windows share window. There's also a search box that that's been added to the window share window to search for contacts. Uh, the drop down for nearby sharing has been replaced with a button. Um, your own PCs have been moved to the top of the nearby sharing list. There's speed improvements for Wi-Fi direct sharing. And there's also a share link that's been added to the context menu. So uh, the right click context menu now also gets its own share link, which I think if that does roll out to the stable version, as I always say, will be a nice move. Uh, in the right direction and heading to the next um, the new outlook is now the our new outlook is now an official inbox app with Microsoft saying that starting with this build outlook for Windows preview is now an inbox app and um, they say that with the new outlook for Windows you can connect work and personal emails calendars and contacts in one place so that's now an official inbox app in this latest dev channel build for this week Moving on to the next, and this is regarding Auto Color Management ACM expansion. Now, Microsoft says from the release notes that last fall, they launched Auto Color Management and Hardware Accelerated System Level Color Management on select qualifying and specially provisioned SDR displays. Now, insiders this week in the Dev Channel will be able to turn ACM on for the SDR displays and have all colors across all Windows apps, whether or not they are color managed, appear accurately and consistently on every supported display. And to turn on the feature, we can see you have to head to your settings, um, your system page, display, advanced display, and yeah, we get that toggle, automatically managed color for apps, um, which is part of that ACM expansion now in the dev channel for this week. Now, the next is not a new feature. But it's worthwhile mentioning because um, the Windows Copilot preview, which began rolling out with build 23493, which was the previous Dev Channel build, is now available to all Windows insiders in the Dev Channel. And just take note, though, you may need to reboot to have it show up, says Microsoft. And a quick recap on Windows Copilot. This is a good indication now that uh, Microsoft is really intensifying their testing. And it brings centralized AI to your Windows 11 desktop. And this Copilot is actually a web container on the desktop, which is very similar to the new Bing chat using the chat GPT and the chatbot. And then moving on to the next, um, once again, we get some emoji improvements. And for this week in the dev channel, um, Windows is now able to display richer emoji with a 3D-like appearance with support coming soon, Microsoft says, to some apps and browsers. And these emoji use gradients to bring the design style according to user feedback, which Microsoft obviously now has te is testing and improved now in the dev channel for this week. And then heading to our final screenshot for the purpose of today's video. They've also added two additional energy recommendations under settings, system power and battery en energy recommendations for turning on dark mode and adjusting the refresh rate to conserve energy as we can see from the screenshot provided. And then just to do a couple of quick mentions. Um, these don't have actual images, but nonetheless, these are new features. So just to mention them. And um, Windows Hello for Business has a password experience now where Microsoft says enterprise customers can now enable a enable passwordless experience policy to allow users in AAD 
join machines to log in with a passwordless experience. So Windows Hello for Business password experience also now available in this week's Dev Channel build. And then there's also new post out of the box OOBE experiences. And as you know, OOBE stands for out of box experience. That's when you basically are setting up a new um, uh, Windows 11 PC. Now, just to go through these very quickly, Microsoft says if you choose development intent within the Let's Customize Your Experience page during OOBE, uh, Dev Home will be automatically launched on your device after logging in and reaching the desktop for the first time after OOBE setup. And then the second is if you choose development intent within the, within the Let's Customize Your Experience page during OOBE, the Get Started app will be automatically launched on your device after logging in and reaching the desktop for the first time after OOBE setup. And then the third and final is if you choose the choose to restore your device during OOBE, the Get Started app will be automatically launched on your device after you log into your device for the second time after completing OOBE. So that's new post out of out of the box experiences now being tested in this week's Dev Channel build. And if we just quickly head over to the release notes to finish off this video, yeah, we can see we get all those different fixes that have been made available because obviously this is um, early days in the Dev Channel. And there's fixes for File Explorer. And there's a fix for notifications, taskbar and system tray, search on the taskbar, dynamic lighting. And then because it is early days, we will get obviously those known issues uh, for the Dev Channel Insiders. But nonetheless, that's what's new in this week's latest Dev Channel Insider Preview Build 23506. They rolled out and started rolling out on the 19th of July. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.